Welcome, my friends. Welcome, welcome to the IRS media show. This is the show. This is from Crypto Airy. Look at the volcano explode. Man, and look at the people run, run, people run, people run, little people run, 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 little Japanese. Here's my guitar. I restrung it. I paid the ten bucks for the strings, ten bucks for the twenty-six bucks for the pegs, and ten bucks for the little nut at the end. And then I broke the end off the goddamn guitar. Look, ding, do. And I was twisting it, but it came right off. So right now it's a wall hanger, but it sounded great for that five minutes I was playing it. <sighs> sounded great. Bitcoin all-time high. What the hell, people? What the hell? It's all right, stay tuned. This little crucifix was hollow. With wires coming out the bottom. Perhaps. <clears throat> Always looking for the te for the technology from the ancient era. Here, I don't see any wires. But this is just going back. You can see where my research is leading me. Perhaps, perhaps not. This is the ethereal, okay, so this is the uh, cross, but it's made up of the fleur de lis, and so that's a very important little, I'll, I'll mention that coming up in a few minutes anyway, comes up again, and here, look at this, you got the bell, but then look, oh, where'd that come from? I don't see any wires going down to the ground, but somehow that bell rings with some technology and electricity probably they get it right from the crucifix above there and here we have the crucifix uh energy generator um and then we got the ball right below that and i found in this episode too a couple of the weather vein uh, there they are the the, the glass balls so Yep, there it is, on the left, with copper roof, round windows, that's surely, there's another one, got the round ball happening, glass, that one's brown, so that would have been some sort of, uh, you know, mineral or some sort of something that we put in with the glass when it was liquid. Blue ones are cobalt. The light blue ones are made with copper. They look almost green, like translucent, like light green, like an old Coke bottle green. So here, what I'm saying is, okay, if you notice that last church, there's all kinds of missing technology on the top. Most of those had copper top. It was a copper top battery, just like Duracell. And you notice Duracell is always the best battery. God, just go with the Duracells. You know what I'm saying? Now here is a depiction of the Cathedral of Milan. You're going to see the actual cathedral coming up. There it is. Ah, uh, what else are we looking at today? Uh, the round holes again, uh, for sure, but... <clears throat> oh, don't quote me on this location, because it's not too important. This one's in Ottawa. This one's in my hometown. This is what we have. Right across from the National Art Gallery. Um, now, here's just Cathedral, but look, what's with, the, what's with that? Going down to the gate. But you got like a post, some sort of antenna coming off the gate house. Antennas up there with the balls, right? Probably made of glass, maybe. Oh, and they got the sun worship sign on the front of that one, at that church. They're not churches. You've been deceived. So has this is technology left over, and some of it's. See, I would say there's even a missing top on that one. 
This one's in uh, Manchester, England, England, across the Atlantic Sea. And I'm a genius, genius, and I believe in God. And I believe that God believes in cloud. That's me. That's her. All right, so here's more. <clears throat> yeah, I grew up with Broadway people. God, I just break into song all the time. It's fucking annoying. Now look, this one covered in metal. Like a metal, look at it. It's just covered in metal sheathing or something coming from the top. All the way down like the Chinese did with the chains or whatever from the top pagoda. And every level you go down, it actually multiplies. So here's another. Okay, that was the, uh, yeah, yeah, the eagle at the top. Now this is Charleston. This is a famous shot. But man, they don't give you a lot to go on when you go with the Civil War. Fuck, what a joke. This is right from, okay, notice, notice the pole that's knocked over there. Might be at the top of those stairs. Now, what I was doing was just checking out the ruins. These stairs go up to nothing, right? This building's destroyed, destroyed buildings. And, but notice on the left where they're working on this building here, the round church, and the columns are right on the sidewalk. Look, they decided to try and save it. Okay, so this is from the one side. You're going to see it from the other side. Now, remember the columns? And across the street, there's the pole that was knocked over that was sort of on its side, right? Here's the other side. There's no pole on its side anymore, but you do see the columns on the street. Now, they're right on the sidewalk there. So I'm not sure if they saved this one in Charleston, but it sure looks like they were trying to. I'd have to go read them. Anyway, I was in Charleston when I was leading my secret double life. Again, there's the post that was leaning over on its side. So, I, I lived in the States for a number of months, on and off, whenever I decided to, back in the previous century. And I was in Charleston. And uh, I was super blown away. Again, with the one guy, just like our photo of the African dude in Egypt, just coming out, everything's in fucking ruins. Except this is so overgrown. Look at the weeds. Oh, they got a McDonald's too. Yep, back in the day. They got to get over there. Get me some breakfast. Fuck, make me hurl. <laughs> Never eat that. Anyway, these ruins. Here, we're going to go right inside this church here. Round Hall at the top. Tartarian Charleston. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Charleston. So you're going to see. I'm going to lay over some other photos because usually I do the voiceover and then I'll do a couple of uh, titles. I do the titles at the very end. And then um, before that, I do the uh, photos that come on top of this. There. What I was looking for was the bull's head with the round window. I couldn't even find it on the internet anymore. I even went looking Benny for Benny, Bolivia. That's where it is. And uh, they, I can't even find the round window with the, tar with the cattle bull head coming out the round window at the top. That's Tartarian thing. Ah, take a breath, Billy. All right, this is like the Leaning Tower of Pisa here, except it's in Charleston. All right, looking up the same street with the same pole put leaning over on that side, right? Remember? Now this, again, now we're here inside the ruins in Charleston of that, uh, I forget the name, St. Joseph... St. John's, I think. And uh, I did, I'll post it over and I'll give you the mainstream narrative about this. You always get the one guy 
Charleston looks to be sitting there in ruins for 500 years, maybe, because I don't understand. Maybe not 500, but it was certainly... See this, I'd give this probably 50 to 100 years just because of the state of the place. The weeds that would have been growing every year just overgrown. All right, and this is in Philly. It still has the top, copper top battery on it. That's what they all should have looked like. All of them, the cathedrals. See that green top? They would have went up there, knocked it down, would have been the first thing. And they would have melted down that metal, the copper. Just like they do today. Here's the old mainstream narrative about it. Here is the location. Right? Built in 1903. Whatever. Oh, the 1880s, is that what this? Uh, I don't go into the story much because I don't, it's obviously lies. And then you notice one tower is just always slightly taller than the other one, just like the Masonic pillars. Moab and Boaz or whatever the fuck their names are. Here again, the round cathedral with the fake uh, Leaning Tower of Pisa. Charleston. Again, notice all the bricks are in dirt. They're just covered in dirt, one here and one there. That says to me 50 to 100 years sitting there in ruins without being disturbed. Just all kinds of dirt would be piling up on those bricks. You'd see mortar and stone and brick, and that's it. No earth piled up on top of those bricks. Should Furthermore, someone probably piled those bricks into a pile. Like This is right off of <clears throat> government. Now look at, the dam look at the damage there to that center building. What I'm saying is they salvaged the one on the left here with the big pillars. They damaged the building on the right. And in the foreground, you can see all of the footprint to the older buildings that would have been destroyed here. Bricks in the floor there. Yeah, this is right off your government like website. And here's that famous photo again. But we got photos all over the world how humanity was knocked on its ass right at this time. 18. That's why I start my photo searches around 1840. I move up to 1860 pretty quick. Just. And this is what you find, 1861, I believe, in the fire of Charleston. Can you believe it? So I check all the edges of the photo. You know how I do it. I go right in. Even the smallest piece of dust at the bottom could be something. So that's my show, you guys. Thanks for checking out the show, and have a good one, yo.